Good morning, boys and girls. This morning is the um, start of the Christmas week. In fact, um, Thursday night, Santa's going to come visiting. And uh, I thought I'd read you a story. It's a bit about a gift. It's the third one in the series by Kim Lardner. And this one's called Grandpa's Horses. My grandpa made wooden horses. He used pine, cedar, oak, and ash. And there's Grandpa's workshop. I often rode them and pretended they were mine. Sitting on top of the horse. Late at night, I would listen to him working. And I dreamed of having a horse of my own. His grandpa working away in his workshop late at night. I was happy when I was with grandpa and his horses. And there you can see what he made them for. He made them for merry-go-rounds. One day grandpa looked at me and said, It's time I made a horse just for you, my little helper. I watched him cut the wood straight and true. With his strong hands, he carved the shape. It's a bit of a smaller horse than the other ones, isn't it? From a piece of wood, Grandpa had made something which seemed alive. Oh, Grandpa, it's beautiful, I see. It's not finished yet, said Grandpa. Tomorrow we'll make it saddle and bridle, straps and syrup. Stirrups. There it is. But that night, there was a fire which swallowed the workshop and everything in it. Oh, no. Grandpa could do nothing. A little tear going down his cheek. He just stood there and watched the flames and swirling smoke. And then we saw them. The horses went flying free. Our horses are flying free, said Grandpa. Tomorrow we'll start again. Soon you'll have your own horse. That's Grandpa. And so Grandpa made my horse. And I loved it. It's an interesting story, isn't it? About making something, a dream come true for this boy, and then seeing it all destroyed. And then starting again. Sometimes we have to do that in life. Sometimes things happen and what we had, our dreams, are destroyed. And we have to have the courage to start again. It's a lovely Christmas story. Every blessing to you.